So let's start talking about these real life situations of um, reducing balance loans with the recurrence relations. So first off, we're going to talk about them using a recurrence relation. Okay, remember, and it's a relation if we've got the initial and then that rule that links them. The initial and the rule that links the current term to the next term. So think about these things as your personal loans, mortgages. So VN is the balance of the loan after N payments have been made. R is the interest rate per compounding period and D is payments made. So let's think about this using an exam question. So this is from the 2017 multiple choice exam. Uh, and it's question 17. So the value of a reducing balance loan in dollars after N months, VN, can be modelled by the recurrence relation shown below. So V0, your initial amount, VN plus 1 equals 1.003 VN minus 400. So what is the value of this loan after 5 months? Okay, so remembering that the that's the monthly compounding interest rate. So on our calculator, let's type in 26,000 as our starting point, then times it by 1.003. Take 400, so that's one month, two months, three months, four months, five months. And I will arrow up, press enter to double check all of that rounding. So 24,380, 31, and that is option A, which 82% of the state got correct. Okay, so let's start thinking about amortization loans. Amortization loans. So, sorry, amortization tables. These are tables that we use to show the life of a loan sometimes an investment, but a lot of the times a loan until that loan is zero. Now, it comes from the French word for death, which is mort. So it's till the death of the loan, till the end of the loan. So amortization loans until we owe zero. Okay, that's where that we get the name of our table from. So part of each payment goes towards paying the interest owed on the unpaid balance of the loan with the remainder you used to reduce the principal. That's right. We have to pay the interest first, then we pay the principal. Okay. So I've got this little snapshot from our textbook to talk a bit about. So you can see that we've borrowed $10,000 at a rate of 8% per annum. The loan is to be repaid by making four quarterly payments of $2,626.23. The amortization table for this loan is shown below. So start off with that balance. You can see that we make our first payment of twenty six thousand, sorry, two thousand six hundred twenty six dollars and twenty cents, and then there's some amount of interest that we incur, and we reduce the principal by two thousand four hundred twenty six dollars and twenty cents. We know that it's eight percent per annum with the compounding quarterly or four times a year so 
8% divided by 4 is 2%, so it's 2% per quarter. So that means, I'll just get up a new, oops, new document just to clean it up. So 10,000 times by 2%. 200. So that's we pay interest of 200. So you can see here, okay, so $200 of my payment is going towards interest. The rest of that payment is reducing how much we owe the principal. Okay. Payment two. We pay the same amount. But this time, 2% of $7,573.80 is $151.48. So that means we're going to be paying a bit more off that principal, aren't we? So let's come back to our calculator. Uh, seven five seven three eight cents. No, don't need that one. So our in our payment was twenty was two thousand six hundred and twenty six dollars and twenty cents. We of which one hundred fifty one dollars and forty eight cents is interest. So that means that we are paying $2,474.72 towards our, our loan. So you can see that the amount of interest as we go through decreases because, of course, our balance, the amount we owe is decreasing. So the amount we are paying off our principal is increasing each time. Now, this last one has got a little asterisk. Why? Because with, with the way it's worked out, if we just paid the $2,626.20, we'd be a bit you know, we'd still have like 16 cents left over, something like that, in order, you know, for the amount that we still owe. And we can't, and the bank said, no. What you'll do is on that last, last payment, you'll pay just that little bit more so that we can get it off, all paid off in the four payments. Okay, let's do an example from... Uh, 2017 Northern Hemisphere multiple choice exam. So we've got an amortization table showing repayment, interest, principal reduction and balance of a reducing balance loan after the first payment. So we've borrowed 180,000 and we are repaying each time $850. So what amount of interest is paid with repayment number two? Right. So let's think about how can we figure out what that is. Okay. So first off, I'll need to know my interest rate, won't I? How can I figure out my interest rate? My interest rate I can get because I know what the interest I paid in the first payment was. So let's use that. So 720 divided by 180,000. So that is 0. 4% per payment period. Now I'm not sure what they are, it, it doesn't matter. 
Okay, so we know, we know that each payment period we are paying 0.4% interest. Okay, so after our first payment, we owe 1,000, sorry, $179,870. So, one seven nine eight seven zero times by zero four. So that is seven hundred and nineteen dollars and forty eight cents, which is closest to D, which is correct. Now we could also look at this and go, well, okay, for teaching purposes, this means that of the $850 in payment, only a hundred and thirty dollars and fifty two cents of that is actually going to reduce what we owe. So hundred and seventy nine eight zero take away that that means at the end we will owe hundred and seventy nine thousand seven hundred and thirty nine dollars and forty eight cents now we won't ask that question but i wanted to make sure that you understood how these worked and you can see here that the interest we are paying is slowly decreasing while the amount that we are reducing the principal by is slowly increasing our repayments though remain the same. Let's look at the next one. So this is from 2018 exam. We've got five lines here, so just a snapshot of an amortization table for a reducing balance loan with monthly repayments. Okay, so a lot going on here. The interest rate for this loan changed immediately before repayment number 28. This change in interest rate best is best described as, okay, so in other words, something has gone on between repayment 27 and repayment 28. And what that thing is, is that there's been a change in interest rate. So what do I need to do? I need to figure out, well, what was the interest rate before then and what's the interest rate after and then look at what that change is so let's figure out the interest rate before the change so oh, what's it um so i'll get the Two two nine. This is the balance after payment twenty six. Zero two three eight six. Oops. And and we paid interest on that of nine hundred and sixty one dollars and ninety cents. Did that all the wrong order? But you can see there that our interest was 00042, or in other words, 0.42% per month. Okay, then afterwards, afterwards, okay, we paid... One thousand and two dollars and twenty six cents on a balance of two thousand 
$227, sorry, seven. $227,785 and 76 cents. Okay, so 0 0.0044. So that is 0.44%. So it's increased. Increase, so bang, bang, by how much? Oh, now these are per month. These are per month, aren't they? So 0.42%, 0 0.42 per annum. So 0 0.4, oops. Yep, oh, 42. Now that's per month, so I times it by 12. So it was... 5.04% per annum and then the new one is 5.28% per annum so it's increased by a zero point two four per cent per annum. That's the difference between those. Now twenty nine per cent of the state answered correctly, thirty seven per cent of the state answered C. So what happened there is that people were you know looking at the decimals and not the percentages and so that's how they got um, that amount so be really really careful there with what you are working with and yeah, look at it really carefully so one more this is from 2019 exam one and we have here the whole amortization table you can see we borrowed 300,000 and we have payments of $1,050 so the annual interest rate for this loan is 3.6 percent interest is calculated immediately before each payment for this loan the repayments are made Okay, so we don't know how often these payments are, but we can see that interest. We know what the annual interest rate is, though. Okay, so let's figure out what percentage is that interest of the balance. That will help us. So, 900 divided by 300,000 so that is 0 0.003 which is 0 0.3% now we get told that the annual interest rate is 3.6 percent okay so we know that that's the interest rate that's happening each each payment okay let's go 3.6 divided by 0 0.3 now why have i done that to see how many of these these three percent payments sorry three percent the zero point three percent going to three point six percent which is our annual interest rate so that tells us okay twelve times that means this is a monthly 
payment interest sorry monthly compounding and payment interest payment periods so 58% of the state answered correctly 12% answered B and 11% answered D but there you had to to figure this out you had to figure out well what's my interest rate that I am paying per period and we got that with the 0.3 percent we get told that the annual interest rate is 3.6 percent by dividing 3.6 by the interest rate we're paying per period gave us 12 which tells us how many periods we are using 